Welcome back to this week's episode of EVTV. Here at Eagle Valley High School, we have a lot of students who work out. But have you ever wondered who can bench the most? Let's find out. The Bench Press a bodybuilding and weightlifting exercise in which the lifter lies on a bench and presses a barbell with a set amount of weight on it. We ask students around EVHS who they think can bench the most at our school. Who do you think can bench the most at Eagle Valley High School? Honestly, Chimo has been working really hard and I think, I think Chimo's got this one. Hi, what's your name? My name is Mason. Who do you think can bench the most at Eagle Valley High School? Um, I think Kyle Marlett has really been putting in the work in the hours. <laughs> Uh, who do you think can bench press the most at Eagle Valley High School? Uh, definitely my boy Emmanuel. After taking this information and looking at our bench press leaderboard on Team Builder, we decided on five students to have a competition to answer our question: Who can bench press the most at Eagle Valley High School? After the competition, the results looked like this. In first place, we had Emmanuel, who benched an extremely impressive 265 pounds. In second, Bambi, who hit just 10 pounds lighter at 255 pounds. Third place went to Peter, who hit a magnificent 245 pounds. In fourth, we had Mr. Cottonsteady, who surprised us with 225 pounds for three reps. Finally, in fifth, we had Eric, who hit an extremely solid 225 pounds. This has been Sam and Owen with EVTV. Last week, we tested the wheelers to see how well they know each other. And this week, we got Dupree and Rivera to see if they can do any better. <laughs> what is the place in the world that Miss Rivera would most like to visit? I've got two possible answers that I'm running through my head. <sighs> I'm gonna go with the one she talks about the most. Um, Taiwan. What month and year did you first meet? We met, ooh, let's hope she can get this, I know it. It was uh, September of 1998. What is Ms. Rivera's childhood pet name? For, for a pet she had, mm -hmm. Thumper. Okay, perfect. And then, what is Miss Rivera's favorite movie? Godfather. Okay. 100%. And what was your first date and who asked who out? Our first date was February 15th, 1999. I'm going to go with, oh, I know what she's gonna say. She asked me. Okay. When asked what place in the world you would most want to visit, Mr. Dupree answered Taiwan. Yeah, I mean, I want to live there. 
I want to go there for two years and live there. Um, I have been there and I love it. When asked what month and year you guys first met, you said September 1998. Yes, at DU, uh, our very first class. <laughs> and then when asked what your childhood pet name was, <laughs> it was Thumper. Yeah, he was a little bunny. He was a, my first pet was a bunny. My only pet only as a child one. was a bunny, a little black and white bunny that ended up freezing to death. So then when asked what your favorite movie was, uh, Mr. Capri answered Godfather. Yeah, that's the only movie that I would rank number one. It's hard to do that of, anyways, but yeah. Yeah, but got the thing. It's And then when asked what your first date was and who <laughs> asked who out, you said it was on February fifteenth, nineteen ninety nine. It was a movie and you asked. It was I kinda told the story a little bit. Yeah, I, I well it was I asked him to go snowboarding, but then he wrecked your ankle, so we had to go to Shakespeare in Love. What is their mom's middle name? K. How many bones has Mr. Dupree broken? One. One when he was a kid, maybe? But he's never broken anything as an adult. He's turned a lot of ankles. And then what is Mr. Dupree's comfort food? His comfort food? Probably like peanut M&Ms. What is the name of the hospital that Mr. Dupree was born in? The hospital name, I don't know. He was born in um, Pontiac, Michigan. But in terms of the name of the hospital, I don't think I've ever even heard his family discuss that. Okay. Um, who is Mr. Dupree's celebrity crush? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> um, Paul Rudd. When asked what hospital you were born in, Ms. Rivera answered, uh, Pontiac, Michigan, because she didn't know the hospital. She got the town 100% correct. Uh, the hospital was, it's named after your favorite daytime soap opera. Not really. Uh, Days of Our Lives? No. <laughs> General Hospital. Oh. It's Pontiac General okay. Hospital. Okay, okay. And then when asked what your mom's middle name is, Miss Rivera answered K. High five. That is correct. Well. All right, and then when asked what your celebrity crush is, Ms. Rivera answered, Paul Rudd. <laughs> There's not one ounce of me that's shocked with the answer. Exactly. Well, no, I would have to say that's incorrect. I, I do have a celebrity crush on Paul Rudd. That's not incorrect. Uh, my celebrity crush was probably Mila Kunis. <laughs> so, when asked how many bones you've broken, uh, Ms. Rivera answered, one. Your arm when you were a kid? Uh, I cracked my arm, broke my big toe. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, as an adult, you haven't broken anything. Asked what your comfort food is, Ms. Rivera answered peanut M&Ms. Absolutely. to part two of Devil's Kitchen. Let's see what the Devils are cooking. Welcome back to another episode of Devil's Kitchen. This is part two of last year. So come with me and let's see what the Devils are cooking. What are your students doing today? Oh, nothing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, they are working on sauces, uh, which the base is a roux, 
And so each one of the things, and everybody's making something different, starts with a roux. So over here we have our uh, potato soup that uses a bechamel sauce. Um, and then over there they have, I'm trying to remember what everybody has. We've got Swedish meatballs here. Okay. Okay. And then mac and cheese over there. And then this one is, oh, biscuits and gravy. Yeah. So, what are you guys starting to do right here? Uh, we're starting to gather all the ingredients to make the Swedish meatballs. Okay, okay. And what's the process? Like, what are you going to start with first? Uh, I believe we're going to start with, we're going to mix everything together. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to make the meatballs and then we're going to bake them. We preheat our oven to 200. Okay. And I, we're going to add everything together and then bake them. All right. So, uh, I'm supposed to melt some butter and then uh, put in some flour and then mix the flour and so like there's no more flour smell. Yeah. And then after that I add, I add some milk in like small amounts and uh, let it thicken a bit and add some more milk. Hey, how's it going? So my nose is smelling something good over here. What's going on? Except for the sink. I don't like to smell the sink. The food. So um, the cheese sauce is almost done. So uh, the dish is like uh, really close to being done. Once it's uh, smooth enough, we're gonna add the noodles, I mean the pasta, and yep, that's it. That's about it? Okay, nice, thank you. So quick question while you're being focused. What is one of the worst mistakes you've ever done cooking? Oh, one of the worst mistakes is that I was baking brownies at my house one time, but we had to leave and I left the oven on, and our whole house was filled with smoke when we came back two hours later. That's, that is pretty bad. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I got, I got grounded for about a month. Fernando, mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to talk to you, good sir. So your mac and cheese is ready, correct? Yep. And what are you guys gonna do? Are you guys just gonna like leave it to Moyer to taste it or you guys taste the food? So um, we have to wait. Yo, Kane, okay. why are we leaving it there for now? Is it because like other groups have to come and taste it too? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, uh, other groups have to come and uh, taste some too if they want to. Reaction? Taste? How was it? Actually so gas. <laughs> right from 1 to 10? Like a 9.5. Alright, we just grab a little bit there. Mmm. That is some good mac and cheese. Yeah. Well, we're gonna risk it either way. God, it is hot. You just shove it in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. So, Maury, what would you rate today's cooking? Um, I mean, looking at the final products, they're not bad. I would say that most people probably over thicken their sauce a little bit. Yeah. Um, which happens. This is the first time working on sauces. Um, my biggest disappointment is the lack of people trying the food. I wish they would all try the food a little bit more because you never know what you're going to find out you all of a sudden like. Yeah. Even though it might not look the most appetizing, sometimes things taste good even if they don't look good. Thank you for watching this week's episode of EVTV. TV. See you next week.